Hey guys, so I just wanted to come on here quick and show you some molds that I made today. I made a couple alien heads. I used some agates to create what I want to be an incense holder. We'll see how that works. I made a couple of these hearts from a necklace that I had gotten that I wanted to make for Valentine's Day into a necklace. Here's another incense holder that I'm going to try. A couple plugs. Blanks, we'll see if that works. I need to push these guys out. Another necklace um, pendant. This it flower is really texture. We'll see how that turns out. And a pendulum. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Jess of Air, and I am here today to show you guys a video of the Sculpey mold making um, kit that I got in my video. Let's see, which video was it? It was my Michael's Clarence haul that I just did. Um... I got this in, I didn't make a video, um, I got this from Michaels for $5 on clearance, and it is essentially just clay, a brick of clay, and you can mold it with your hands, and then once it's done, or once you're done molding it with your hands or whatever you're doing, um, and you imprint it with your object, then you bake it for about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the thickness. And then they stay flexible and they hold resin. And I mean, it was $5. I think it was like 13 to $15 on its own. So it's a little bit cheaper than that yellow version of this that you get at Michael's and Hobby Lobby rev readily available. But this is the Sculpey. I'll write, I'll put the name on the screen here. And this is from an entire box. This is all that I was able to make. So I'm not disappointed. I think there was a decent amount of clay in there. So let's get to work here. So I will start with these two big things because I've been wanting to open these for so long. I mean, since I started them, I've been wanting to take them out of the mold. So these two are going to be incense holders. On this one, I took a flower candle holder. You can see that in my thrift store Christmas haul. And I pushed it into this piece of mold clay. And just very thin amount. It's not very thick. And I'm going to put a little hole right in the center here so that this incense stick can stick straight up. Um... Yeah, we'll see. I'm going to try it with one of the little cones, too, and see if what happens to the resin with the cone. And then this, I took three different agates and put them together. And I'm hoping if I put a little hole here, or maybe over here, we'll see when we unmold it what looks better. Um, an incense holder, so yeah, I hope somebody likes this. I also have a couple aliens. This necklace cavachon shape, I suppose. I just like that shape. We got some hearts. I did two sets of plugs or gauges, if that's what you call them. I think this is about a size four, and this is bigger than a seven sixteenth. Maybe it, I'm not sure what the size is bigger than that because I'm only at seven sixteenth, but that was a size bigger. And then this is a pendulum that I used my rose quartz pendulum to create this mold. I just wrapped it around it, squeezed it around it. Um, is that all? Another? Oh, this one I forgot. This is a couple more little keychain shapes and stuff. I actually got the ones on this from my mom when I visited um, her the last time 
uh, she had saved these from my childhood and I've kept these and brought them with me through many years of my life. So I was finally happy to actually create something with them. Uh, maybe this is why I kept them for so long was to create this mold. <laughs> so yeah, very cool. So now that I've talked, let's get down to the unmolding. I'm going to do this alien first. Okay, so it is coming away. I hope I don't break this. We'll see here. And I wonder if the resin pieces will be matte. I'm, I'm guessing they will be. They're not probably not going to be shiny since this material is not very shiny. Okay, so I got around the whole outside. Now I got the eyes. There's one. Look at that. It's still, <coughs> I'm sorry, still completely intact. I mean, this is definitely maybe even a C grade mold because it's definitely not A grade. Um, it has a lot of uh, little f uh, flaws, but it created this piece. Wow. I really think that is like the cutest thing ever. Look at that. You can see the glitter. That's so and I like that the eyes are shiny. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, let's see how the other one turned out. Alright. Oh, this one is much easier because I didn't spill so much around the outside. One eye... Oh, come out. Oh. All right. Oh, no. It's thin. It broke. Okay, that's okay, though. Look at it. It looks cool. What's that? Some of the mold got stuck to it. I bet I can sand that off. But okay, cool. And it, there's the shiny version. So I guess maybe I made this mold a little too shallow because this piece came out much thicker. Can you tell? Alright, so there is the two alien molds. I made this mold using a stamp that I found at Michael's. Um, hmm, what's next? Let's do this flower. Okay, the mold is kind of getting stuck to the resin a little bit. Oh, sorry, I just punched you guys. <laughs> Okay, let's try to pull her out. Okay, and you see it has this really detailed pattern. So let's see. Oh yeah, it does have a detail. I'm gonna pop the mold got stuck on that one, so I'm gonna polish it up and we'll see how that looks. But I'm thinking it might be because it's the first time I used the mold. 
I'm not sure. Maybe it is the resin that doesn't work well in here. I'm not sure. So we'll see. But this piece turned out. I mean, it's not, I mean, it is what it is, you know, it's not, I guess, what else would it be? <laughs> All right, so let's try to get this out. It was hard to get the original piece out, so this could be a nightmare with all the drips around it. I would definitely recommend a silicone mold for something that's this difficult to get out. Maybe I'll do that last. All right, let's poke out these plugs. I've been wanting to see how they turned out. Okay, it's pulling away. Coming out quite easily. So close. <laughs> that did not sound right. <laughs> All right. Cool. So I'll definitely have to like uh, shine them up and and file them down a little bit but I mean it's it's it could fit in your ear if you got a hole in it oh here they are and they have the little That's so cool. Okay, so this might, I mean, I wear size 16, seven, I wear a size 7 16, so, awesome. All right, let's see how the small ones turned out. I never in a million years imagined I'd be making my own earring like this. <laughs> So these are, this is a really flexible material. It's just not good for things that are like stuck way down in there. I'm going to have to get like pliers or something and rip it out. All right, let's not wait, keep you guys waiting. Let's do this one. So this, I put resin and glitter and then little loose diamonds. Oh, I've been wanting to do this. Alright, so there's the mold, and as you can see, it's flexible. It's not silicone, but it's like a flexible clay. And I can just cut off these edges, but... Cool. And then you can just... Put your little ins put it on the table, put your little incense in there and let it burn. That's so cool. Alright, let's do this necklace or pendant. 
frame. Um, I mean, I need, I had, there's a lot of extra, but I just want to make sure that there wasn't going to be bubbles. Very cool. And I'll just get rid of this stuff on the inside. It feels like it needs to cure a little bit more. It feels like it's not all the way dry yet. So. All right, we're almost done. We've got this star pendant. We've got two hearts. And some cherries. I used to be obsessed with cherries in the early 2000s. wonder if they're going to make a comeback. Cherries. And then let's do these hearts. So I did. Can you tell that there's a heart? That one was kind of questionable. And you could use these molds for, um, you could use these molds with clay too, you know. Just push the clay in there and then peel it out. Since these are set in the oven, I wonder if you could use bakeable clay if it would stick to it or not. So the necklace that this came from was like a set like this. Love it. All right, so finally, let's get this. Let's get this big baby out of here. I'm gonna turn down the light a little bit because I think you can't see it as well. There, yeah. Oh, wait, maybe just a little bit brighter. So it has stars around the outside, little loose diamonds on the inside, and then pink sparklies in the middle. What side should I do this from? Oh, it's not set all the way yet. <laughs> That's okay, though. decently thick. I don't know which side I like better. <laughs> of 
cool. So then we we'll just set it. And then we can put our incense in there and it should stay. I don't know which way you guys think we should go with this. Like that or like that. So cute. I'm totally doing more designs with this agate. Let me know what you think in the comments. Haha! -ha. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Alright, so that's supposed to be like a small plug. And I mean, maybe it'll turn into that when I'm, when I get it sanded down, we'll see. But that was a pain in the butt to get out. Alright, so I definitely would not recommend making things that you have to like shove in it. Because it was so difficult to get these out. And now this is going to be a pain Alright, so here is the pendulum. I like the pink at the bottom, that's cute. I'll have to sand this and shine it up, but it does have the um, shape I was looking for. That crystal pendulum shape. So I'm happy about that. I'll let this resin harden a little bit longer because it's only been like exactly 24 hours. So I'll let it harden for another day and then we will see how these look. And okay, so let's talk about this stuff. I like this because of the price. I like this because of the easiness of this mold not hardening in a time frame like that other brand. I like that um, it comes with a decent amount so you can make large and small objects. I like that if you make something and you don't like it, you just mix the stuff back up and then try again. Um, I don't like that resin sticks really easily to this. I d don't believe that this is uh, sold as a resin making mold. I mean, silicone making mold for resin. I don't think this is specifically for resin. I think this is for uh, clay. Like if you were to use clay and make remake the shape. But in a pinch, if this is all you got, I mean, you can make a, an array of objects. I mean, you see how many different things I made. So this is if you can only find this or if you're on a tight budget and you only have like $15 to spend instead of $25. Um, or a small project and you want to keep it, uh, keep it for a while. You know, I would highly recommend this mold maker kit. And even maybe for beginners, if you want a cheaper alternative, 
Maybe you don't want to spend $25 on a practice run. Um, I was lucky enough to find this for $5 at my Michaels, but it was originally only about $13 and some change. So yeah, I think that's all for this tutorial. If you like it, please comment below. Or if you like it, please like the video and comment below if you have any questions. If you want to see me make something else or um, anything, you know, anything you want to say. I love reading your guys' comments. Thank you to the two or three people who have been interacting with my channel. You guys make me smile when I see your comments. I'm like, yay, somebody actually likes my content. So um, thank you guys. You just push me even farther forward. So um, I guess I'll see you in my next video.